everybody, it's John here from Vigimiac.com. Here we are today back in Pac-Man grabbing the Fruit Basket Achievement. This is to collect one of each piece of fruit in one single game. I recommend setting the life count to 5, that will make things a hell of a lot easier because in the later levels we can uh, start dying. So basically you have to make it to level 7 and get all of the fruit. So uh, since you have 5 lives you want to kind of ration that out as one life after level 2. So you want to practice the game until you get good enough to beat the first two levels without dying. Alright, another note to keep in mind is the fruit will spawn whenever you eat a set amount of pack dots, usually about a quarter to a half of the board. So uh, as soon as it appears, what you want to do is you want to go for it right away. The reason for that is th it, there's a uh, set amount of time that the fruit is available. Now there's going to be two fruits per round, so you have two opportunities to get it in case you miss it the first time. So my best advice is to get it out of the way as soon as possible, and then turn your attention to clearing the board. Use your pall pellets, you can actually eat ghosts in this playthrough, which you know is a big godsend. But uh, once you manage to finish up level 1, we're going to start level 2, and now we have to collect the strawberry. So same strategy, we're going to eat... Um, as many dots as we can. I like clearing the bottom of the board first and uh, as soon as you do that you want to grab the fruit and of course you have to do this while weaving in and out of the ghost's uh, paths. But uh, once the fruit um, shows up make sure you grab it and then work on clearing the board. So I like clearing half the board um, at a time so I like doing the bottom half and then trying to use my power pellets in order to uh, avoid the ghost and I only eat them if um, they're close to me or if they're about to turn back to the uh, regular mode. But uh, you basically want to repeat this pattern uh, for the uh, whole game until we get the achievement basically. So uh, this is probably one of the harder achievements in the game just because you have to make it pretty far on only five lives and Pac-Man is going to be pretty hard for anyone who uh, isn't familiar with the game. Alright, once you start up the third level, we have the orange to get. So, as you can see, we're repeating the same strategy where we're trying to get the bottom of the board first and just grabbing as many pack dots as we can until the orange spawns. For uh, for now, what you want to do is whenever a piece of fruit spawns, you want to grab a power pellet and then use the time that's allotted to you while the ghosts are um, be able to be eaten to just try to make a run for the fruit because uh, that's the most important thing because you know that's what the achievement is based after but uh, from this point on also each fruit has two levels to it so you have four opportunities to get a piece of fruit you do not have to get a piece of fruit in each level you just have to get one piece of fruit so every fruit after the strawberry has two levels to it so there's gonna be two oranges two apples and then two melons obviously but uh, we're going to try to get the achievement on the first melon um, level. That way the game can end early and uh, we have lives to spare. But uh, anyways, as you can see me uh, earlier, I died. But you get one extra life at uh, 10,000. So you should be able to get at least one extra life in this uh, playthrough. So you actually have six lives to work with. And you can get the lives earlier if you try to go for... Um, extra pieces of fruit or if you actually try to go and kill for the ghosts. But what I recommend doing is just focusing on clearing the board and not worry about points because uh, 10,000 should come definitely in at least the second orange round if not the first apple round. But uh, you want to basically try to use at least one life per board. So you should practice the game until you get good enough to get through uh, that part. But uh, anyways here we are just uh, repeating the same strategy working one uh, corner at a time. So we are going to try to weave out of the way of the ghost. We're gonna get to this side, use the warp zones as best you can. Those are a lifesaver. And uh, here we are, it's gonna wrap up this little corner bit and then we'll move on to the first apple stage. Now there's gonna be two apple stages, so it's just like the orange where you only have to get one apple on either stage, and there's two apples per stage, so you have four opportunities in case you miss it. But uh, we're gonna repeat the same strategy here, work one corner at a time, and then put distance between us and the ghost. And once the apple pops up, we're gonna try to make a mad dash for it using a power pellet. But as you can see, you can get greedy and die. I recommend if you do die, you die when there's not a piece of fruit on the board. Because if you die and there's a piece of fruit on the board, it'll disappear and you'll miss that 
opportunity. But for these later fruits, you at least have four chances to grab it. So the apple's going to spawn here, and we are going to try to grab it as best we can after killing that one ghost. There we go. We got the apple out of the way, so we don't have to worry about it in the second apple level. And here we go. Just got to clear the pellets around the ghost's board. So... Just gonna try to zip around here, a little back and forth action, and there we go, we finished the first apple level. Alright, we're gonna start the second apple level. And of course we're gonna repeat the same strategy as you can see me do right here. We're going to work on the bottom, and a good uh, tip to keep in mind is to fake out that first ghost in the lower right hand corner. So you want to go in one direction, and then you want to switch directions quickly, that way he will start moving in the opposite direction. So that's his pattern, and that's how you uh, get rid of him early. So here we go, just going to keep uh, working this corner now. Grab the power pellets, and then going to clear up this corner. And when the ghosts start dying, you can try to eat them if you want to, but you don't want to waste time. You want to use as much as your time to clear the board. And luckily we got this stage done without dying. So we have one more stage, and we have three lives to work um, with it. So plenty and plenty of uh, room to mess up right here. So we're going to grab the power pellet and then clear up the board. Now my focus is getting as many pack dots as I can to try to get the melon to spawn. But uh, there it is. Going to grab a power pellet and I'm going to make a mad dash for it. Grab it, and the achievement should pop. And uh, there it is. It's going to be for 90 gamer score. It's going to take a bunch of practice to get this down, but uh, once you do... There it is, and that's all there is to it.